This week is my last week of college ever. I am so excited. Today is Monday, and if you haven't seen in previous vlogs, on Mondays I go to work. I have about a 45 minute drive ahead of me, and I'm gonna go to work at my little social media job. So let's get driving. It's the end of the work day, so obviously I had to get a little a drink. <laughs> Now that we have a Dutch Bros nearby, not good for me. Not good for me because I'm constantly there. I'm constantly there. Good morning. Sorry I didn't vlog last night. Mondays are hard for me to vlog on, but today is Tuesday. So we are going to school today. It is my last week of school ever, so that's a big deal. I am not going to dress cute for it, mainly because... It's gonna stay in the 60s today, so not super warm. And I'm just busy. I got a lot of crap to do for the last week of school. So I woke up early this morning to create a little handout. I have a promotion strategy presentation tomorrow and we have to have a handout for it. So I made this little quiz. Hopefully that is, hopefully that's good enough and that's what they wanted. So I have that tomorrow, but today we are going to finish that presentation paper, turn it in. We got to go to class, we got to go to chapel, we got to start researching for a 10 page paper due next Sunday and a lot of other things to do. So very overwhelming, very stressful week. We got Starbucks, obviously, grande iced coffee, peppermint syrup mocha and cream and it has classic in it super good i know it's not like christmas but i just like peppermint I just had my digital strategies class and this professor bless his heart he's great but he is not very organized and he does not plan things ahead so we still haven't known really what our final project is like he's given us the concept but we haven't known like the length what needs to be included all that stuff so he told us today which mind you there's only technically two more weeks of school because technically there's finals next week. I don't have any tests or anything. He could give us until the end of the two weeks to do it, which is exactly what he did. So we have two weeks to create an entire marketing proposal for a brand. And it has to like involve digital strategies and you have to create these promotional pieces. And we just found that out today. And that just drives me up the wall. I hate when people are not planned in advance. And especially in the professional world, like that bothers me so much. So I just found that out. It has to be 9 to 12 pages, if I didn't say that already. So I'm not feeling too great compared to how I was feeling earlier. I was feeling okay earlier, but now I'm not doing too hot. I have a break right now. This is normally when I work for my social media job. As you know, I'm a social media manager for a marketing company. So I normally create posts during this little break of classes. Then I have my journalism class at four. And I also, guess what? It's the same professor that teaches that one. And he still hasn't told us what the final project is. And again, he mentions the concept, but I have no idea what it entails, and I need to find that out today, like, desperately. So, that's kind of frustrating, I just wanted to tell you about that. I'm at home. Alec and I normally go on day nights, but I don't know if we're gonna do that, because I have so many projects. So many. So, I'll let you know what happens. It was needed. 
I deserve this. I deserve that. That's me justifying eating Chick fil A for dinner. I used to have this all the time as breakfast when I was younger, and it still hits. Not the best option, but it still hits. So that's what we're having on this raining day. Happy Wednesday. I am headed to school right now, and I'm definitely nervous today because I have my final marketing presentation and I think I'm just nervous because she's a strict grader so I want to do well so I know you'll see this in the future but pray that I do well I had my presentation it went really good in my opinion it was just a little long I accidentally spoke for too long but I guess it's not a bad thing so now all that's done I have four classes left that I need to wrap up that was number five so slowly but surely getting closer it's very slow it feels very slow now I'm going to counseling I'm eating a little snack before and this is my last counseling session for the year because I go through my school and then I can go home so I'm gonna go to counseling I'm not gonna film it obviously and I'll see you when I'm at home I'm getting ready for bed I haven't really told you what happened the rest of today but I went to counseling and I really didn't have anything to say or talk about because it's kind of like the last session and I just like didn't know what to say so I ended up leaving early she let me go out early because I just I didn't even know what to say but it was sad. It was sad that it's my last session and I really enjoyed my counselor. So I had that, came home, I took a nap because I was just like crashing. So I took a nap, then I made some dinner while simultaneously researching for a 10 page paper. If there's something about me, I hate researching. I hate reading about other people's articles about something. I'd rather write about something that I already know and I hate researching. So I was just dreading it, but I ate dinner, finished all of the research. I got all the sources that I need for the paper. Then I just kind of chilled and I got ready because I have an interview tomorrow for one of my last journalism stories so I planned out my interview questions and then I read a little bit of Daisy Jones and the Six and now I'm going to bed I decided I'm going to get up super early tomorrow and go to Starbucks super early because my productivity at nighttime is just like zero like I just cannot at nighttime it's better during the day and that's when I have classes, so I decided I'm just going to wake up super early and go before chapel tomorrow. So I'm going to wake up at 6, get ready as fast as I can, and go. So that's the plan, and I just wanted to tell you what I'm doing, and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Thursday. I woke up at 6, and I left my house at 7.30 so that I could work at a Starbucks. I said I was gonna do this last night because my productivity is better during the daytime hours, not during like the nighttime after six or something. So I'm going to crank out a 10 page paper. That's the goal. I have two and a half hours. I wanna crank it out in this time. We shall see, pray for me, pray that I'm able to do it because that would be a huge release if I could do that. So. Let's go write this thing.
last time I talked to you, I was going to grind out a paper and guess what? I did. I actually wrote a 10 page paper on the media's impact on COVID in two and a half hours. Amazing, like amazing. So I feel so relieved about that. And then after that, I had chapel, our last chapel, and then I had class and that was pretty straightforward. I also had an interview for one of my journalism assignments. I have two more, so I had to do an interview for that. And now I'm just sitting here. I, <laughs> kind of a long story, but my professor teaches both classes. So I have two classes with the same professor and he said he's gonna reuse the same lecture for the second class. And he said, you don't have to come to the second class. <laughs> I was like, bet, okay, I'm not coming. <laughs> Friday morning at 8 30 and I told you that I may have said this I don't remember but I'm doing the same thing I did yesterday today because my productivity is just so much better in the mornings so I got to school at 8 30 super early and I'm just going to grind out some stuff I still have three classes I need to complete assignments for my senior project my social media class and my journalism class so I'm going to do that in just one of the study areas on campus and I just brought like a little granola bar for breakfast and then I'm going to Dutch Bros with there's like people mowing sorry if you can hear that I'm going to Dutch Bros with one of my friends and we're gonna like celebrate last day of classes so that is the plan for right now let's go grind this out what it is what it be <laughs> um we're on the way this is hannah hannah's driving we're Oh, look how aesthetic this looks. Whoa. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just wanted to hop on here onto Hannah's vlog that I don't know when she'll ever post it. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that we are on the way to Dutch Bros. And <laughs> this is our second time going together. And it's so exciting. I think I'm going to get the energy drink actually whoa yeah whoa. yeah last time i know last time i was like i'm just gonna get a coffee but today i'm feeling the energy drink i feel like i need it i have a final in three hours i'm really tired <laughs> i feel like vlogging is so awkward you know you can turn it so you can turn See yourself <gasps> shut up Oh, <laughs> I thought you knew that. I did not it's know this. Serious. This was like my dream when I was a 14 year old. I like, Me too. I wanted to be a vlogger so bad and I'd take my little iPhone 4 and i just vlog everything. <laughs> I used to use my iPod Nano. You remember? They have the video camera. Your iPod Nano? That's the, the OG. video cameras on them and I put the filters on them and then just... <laughs> Oh my god. We made it! Amazing. Wow, I'm so emo right now. The fact that school is done. I'm just like, I've been sitting here on the couch since I got home. Just like feeling all the feelings about it. Like, I'm so freaking relieved. But like, now I have to be a real adult and that's like scary. Oh my gosh. I could cry, but <laughs> I've been watching some of my old vlogs 
so i'll link some of them down below if you kind of just want to see my journey my journey was so crazy just literally insane all that i went through to get to this point just like baffles me working at american eagle quitting american eagle buying a house covid and <laughs> getting married and literally all this stuff to get to this point i can't believe it i can't believe how different my life is four years later i should be working on stuff but i just needed like to process these emotions because tonight i have some girls sleeping over at my house from my young adults group so i just need to like process this before they came over and then they'll be here soon one of them is coming early so i'm going to just get my air mattresses ready and everything and she'll be here soon